Hosts Liverpool came back from behind to secure a 3-1 win over Bournemouth in their first home game. The visitors took an early lead against Liverpool after a goal from Semenyo in the third minute. But the Reds made a comeback with a 28th-minute goal from Diaz and Mo Salah's penalty in the 36th minute. In the second half, the hosts took a blow when Mac Allister was sent off for a dangerous foul. But Diago Hoda scored in 60th minute to take Liverpool to 3-1. Anfield, Liverpool, Liverpool earned their first Premier League win of the season as they beat Bournemouth 3-1 despite the loss of Alexis Mac Allister to a second-half red card. The Reds were forced to come from behind as a shambolic start was punished when Antoine Semenyo powered home at the cop end to punish a loose pass. The Cherries, who had already had a goal disallowed because Jaden Anthony was offside, scored inside three minutes when the Reds gave away possession and Antoine Semenyo fired sweetly into the bottom. Jurgen Klopp's side eventually got into their stride in a frantic first half and scored twice in an eight-minute period. Luis Diaz got the equalizer when he collected Diogo Hoda's low cross, flicked the ball up, spun, and volleyed home. Summer signing Dominic Sobosly then went to ground after a challenge at the corner of the box by Joe Rothwell and Mohamed Salah converted the rebound after his penalty was parried by Bournemouth goalkeeper Netu. Argentina World Cup winner Mac Allister, signed in a £35 million deal from Brighton, was shown a straight red card midway through the second half when he caught the foot of Ryan Christie. But the 10 men of Liverpool scored a third as Sobosly's low shot was pushed out by Netu and Hoda netted from close range. The win means Liverpool now has four points from two matches this season after they began with a 1-1 draw at Chelsea while Bournemouth have just one point from their opening two games. Both managers may be unhappy with refereeing decisions from Thomas Bromel, with Liverpool's penalty appearing a soft decision as Rothwell made minimal contact with Hungary captain Sobosly as he stretched out his leg. Klopp will be disappointed with the decision to send off Mac Allister for what seemed a genuine attempt to win the ball. While there did not look to be any malice in the challenge, the former Brighton midfielder's boot was high as he caught Christie. The Liverpool fans booed the decision while Klopp tried to provide some words of comfort for the Argentine as he walked off the pitch after an inauspicious end to his Anfield debut. The Reds kicked off their season with a 1-1 draw against Chelsea last weekend while Bournemouth shared the points with West Ham. Jurgen Klopp's side now returns home and will be hoping to claim their first win of the season with memories of this fixture last campaign fresh in memory. The hosts humiliated the Cherries, winning 9-0 in a historic victory that saw Scott Parker sacked three days later. Andoni Araula will be hoping his side can get revenge for that defeat and that he won't experience a similar fate to Parker this time around. With Liverpool being turned down Moises Caicedo and Romeo Lavia, the Reds are in a desperate situation in the transfer market and according to former star Carragher, their current predicament is a joke. Speaking to Sky Sports, Carragher said, it leaves Liverpool in a pretty difficult place. They need to sign someone in midfield and people know that they're desperate. They put a bid in for Lavia today for £60 million when they refused to pay £50 million just four or five days ago. It's been an absolute mess, it's a joke. The biggest problem is that Liverpool have known they need midfield reinforcements since August last year, so 12 months ago. Liverpool will be looking to get their first Premier League win of the season when they host Bournemouth at Anfield on Saturday. The Reds drew 1-1 with Chelsea in their opening game, while Bournemouth were also held to a 1-1 draw by West Ham. Liverpool are the clear favourites in this match, but Bournemouth will be no pushovers. The Cherries will hope to up a fight against Jurgen Klopp's side, and Dominic Solank's 82nd-minute equaliser against West Ham will give them the confidence to do so. Here Goal brings you everything you need to know about how to watch, including TV channels, streaming details, and